Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess of Aesthetically Princess and today we are going over a January favorites video. Literally this video is being posted literally the last day of January. So I mean I'm pretty on brand or whatever. First things first. Welcome. Hi, hello. If you don't know who I am, I am Princess. I make, I guess, fashion, beauty, hair, and lifestyle videos and art videos if you like me stick around so let's get into the video okay so first on my list we'll eventually get to shows which is the part that I'm most excited about um but we'll start off with hair so first of all this is cute I like this my afro is ginormous I know I said 2020 would be the year of braids but I have yet to get any find someone that does braids really well and won't take my edges with them that's my biggest problem is edges I need to keep my hair the way it is nice and edged out do you see this hairline I'd like to keep it so um no also if your person that's braiding your hair is making you because I see it going around Twitter and Instagram if the person that braids your hair uh, makes you straighten their hair or straightens your hair before they braid it they're doing it incorrectly and you need someone else some a new person to do your braids because honestly you shouldn't be straightening your hair if you're getting braids it's supposed to be a protective style and how is it going to be a protective style if you straighten your hair beforehand the only time that i would say okay it's okay to have straight hair as you're braiding it is if you have had straight hair for a while and it's currently falling out of its style and braiding it up could help with it reverting back to its original state if you've had it straightened for a long time so if you had like a silk press and it's been like maybe a while since you had your silk press and you don't want to go back to another silk press and you don't want to go to big old natural hair or wigs then just braids would be the better choice go straight into braids like while the hair is still straight just go into braids um and then when you're done with your braids wear your natural hair up for a while maybe put some mask through it and then it'll have reverted back to a better state than it was before you silk pressed it and things like that also hairstyles that i've really been loving um the bandana style so i have so many bandanas because i used to wear big ginormous purses when i was in high school and like my first two years of high school i used to wear these ginormous purses like big, almost bigger than me purses around school because you couldn't wear a backpack so i would tie little silky bandanas around my purses like none, none of these these are banned in school the ones that look like this because gang affiliation and where i live gang affiliation um but <laughs> um i have like ones that are like covered in hearts and kisses and ones that have like cute little patterns on them and then they were usually the things I heard tied around my purse to make them look better because I know you have like twillies like the one that I have like right here this is a twilly that's exactly what they're called if it's wrapped around a purse it's called a twilly it's not a scarf it's a twilly um but I didn't have any twillies for like my purses and such so I just wrapped cute little bandanas you can finally you can find them at like Walmart so I've been using them to wrap up my hair in like the cute little wrapped style I don't have any head wraps so these were the best thing to do you can also go to the store and get like a square of fabric about this size like the size of like a regular bandana get a square of fabric of any fabric that you're like oh that seems pretty and use it to tie up your hair and it's better for work than have wearing bandanas because I know that a lot of places ban bandanas for gang affiliation another cute hairstyle is the pins so I have been loving the pearl pin style and I finally have some I just love pearls I like gold and pearls and white <laughs> at all times uh, so this this was an upward spiral so I have so many of these now I have like so many of these little hair pins and then different styles this one is just gold patterning I have the same ones in silver because I also do wear silver a lot so I'm like oh yay pretty do you like it um <laughs> I like wearing them like this and like putting them on both sides of your hair and then having just the poop but I also really like this this was really pretty I like having my afro and being able to use stuff to like judge it up a little bit and having just the afro because not every day you want to be like mmm today afro I don't feel like doing it else with it but afro uh so those are some of my favorite hairstyles of this month now favorite clothing items of this month so i have not left my house since 
a few days before New Year's. I work from home. I do Instagram, YouTube, and I am an artist. And my artistry has gotten me one of my favorite collabs that I've ever done. I'm so happy about that. So I work from home. I also live with my family. So my mom does genre with grocery shopping uh, at certain parts during the month. So I don't really have to leave my house ever, like at all. I don't really have friends, so I don't leave my home. So I think one of my favorite things that I've had this month is this big old fluffy hoodie coat thing. I've worn it in several of my videos, but it's just like, it's a, it's a hoodie. It's like a drawstring hoodie, but it's like covered on fur on the inside and the outside, and it's so freaking soft. I know they have these at like Urban Outfitters and stuff. I got this one from Dillard's because my mom saw it and she was like, oh my God, D, you would like this. She brought it home for me. I was like, heck yeah. So I've been wearing it in and out the wazoo. This thing is the best thing ever, especially since I am anemic. So I handle temperatures very oddly and I get really cold really easily. And this has saved my behind so many times. I just gotta say, it made me so happy. So happy. My God. Okay, there's another style that I really like for having this, for, I've really been liking this year so far is the matching top and skirt set. I have not bought one yet, but I see so many that I'm like, I want that, but I'm broke. I also want that, but I have nowhere to go. Um, for example, I have been, I got the honor of working with Ocean, Ocean, Shami Ocean, <laughs> Shami Ocean, which is a independent, independent designing brand. And she has these cute little color changing, by the way, set this color changing top and skirt and jacket set. It's expensive as hell, but like, it's so pretty. And I absolutely have been loving the style of like a matching top and skirt and maybe even a jacket set because that's so many outfits in like one for like one price and I like being able to be like oh yeah I like this pattern I like that it comes in a jacket I like that it comes in a shirt I like that it comes in a skirt but guess what I don't have to pay as much for it <laughs> hell yeah bitch <laughs> so that's still one of my favorite things about this month is the 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 style of a matching set you can do a full matching set and not have to worry or you can do a full matching set and you know wear pieces from it because sometimes it's overbearing to wear it all <laughs> not gonna lie that's a real thing be a little bit too much to wear all of it together but i mean be cute or whatever do you do you do you so next thing that i have been enjoying for this month of in january other than being sad because goodness gracious january has been a month and it's still only january um <laughs> and yeah so yeah, um, I've also been absolutely loving fucking Twitter. Twitter, I have not, I have, at a point I stopped using Twitter. I started using Instagram and I stopped using Twitter, but I've gotten back to Twitter. Shit's funny as hell. Um, <laughs> I also started using TikTok, which is interesting to say the least. TikTok is interesting. I haven't made a TikTok video yet. Yeah, I might, I might do one tomorrow, but like, I don't know yet. I'm confused as to whether or not I really down to start that TikTok live but we'll see you know what I mean like <laughs> you do you do you finally to my favorite part of this segment of this show but shows that I've watched in January so first things first uh I did not watch you season two but I know it was effed up I talked about this before you has me effed up because he was after like that dumb crap girl who was doing the most she was a hoe she done cheated on him several times she was sleeping right before they even got together what person does not own curtains on a floor to ceiling window in new york when you live in like a town area i don't know why she ain't own no curtains <sighs> anyways anyways i also saw that season two that he cheated on the girl that he was with she as crazy as he is but she cheated on him and i don't understand why she ain't shoot him i'll bust the cap in your behind like, I don't get it like if you're gonna be psycho and you decide oh i'm gonna do all this because the girl i love and she loved me back but you go around and cheat <laughs> i'm just gonna kill you and call it a day you ain't seen psycho till you seen me boo i ain't got time for it anyways on the shows that i actually watched that i actually enjoyed first things first the witcher if you have not heard about the witcher it is a 
story based on a book and it is mostly fantasy and all that good goodness and stuff if you have not watched it i say you should <laughs> you should absolutely watch it it's so good if you really are you if you're a big fan of like lord of the rings lord of the rings um game of thrones what else maybe harry potter like you'll love it the only thing i have a problem with is the amount of nudity in this show whole lot of behind whole lot of titties whole lot of titties a lot of titties at one point there's an orgy in like the middle of the show so it's a whole lot of white naked behind <laughs> mm-hmm white naked behind that's what you get i mean there's a few black characters yeah there's a few black characters like like three mm. it's not a lot but they're there they're they're present um <laughs> they're present i mean they don't live long but like they're present Mm hmm but overall the show is pretty good the show is pretty freaking banging um i think the best part of it is the person that plays gerald trivia I, his name just escaped my mind i knew what it was i knew what it was i knew what it was but his name just escaped my mind whoever plays gerald trivia his behind i mean if i have to see a lot of ass it better be good ass if i i have to agree his behind is a one since he's walking away from us so much i mean i might as well look at it it's there <laughs> Also, like the fight scenes, I love a good fight scene. I love a good fight scene. They killed it. Killed every single part of it. Loved it. Speaking of fight scenes, something else that I finished in 2019, I watched Legends finally. It's a 2015 movie. It's a movie from 2015 and it's about two twin um, mafia bosses. Mm -hmm. Two twin mafia bo bosses and then their like life as twins one is very much off his rocker and then the other one is eh. Eh. <laughs> and it's just it's a whole lot of whole lot of there's a suicide there's a whole lot of stuff i've been wanting to watch this since 2015 because it caught my attention in 2015 and i have never been able to find it until now it came on netflix so wait, all of these shows by the way are on netflix because that's what i usually watch is just netflix if i'm not like on youtube mm -hmm. netflix it is um what's the third one the third one would be another fight scene show or another movie which was maleficent the mistress of evil i love the first one the second one was also good i have to say the second one was also pretty freaking good very much less maleficent and more of her daughter mm. also the queen the, uh, the queen that plays in the second movie she doing too much <laughs> she doing a whole lot of whole lot of and she just mm -mm. she 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 got me effed up i gotta say like she got me a little off my rocker i'm so confused about her she was doing the most i was so happy when i've had a movie ended because she needed to be set out somewhere because she was doing a whole lot a whole lot of the most of the movies me and my mom and my sister made fun of her because when i say her clothes were the most her clothes were the most Whoever created her uh, her her outfits for all of her scenes was like, I want you to sparkle like a diamond in the darkness. <laughs> she would be covered in like jewels and pearls. And we're like, your clothes ain't heavy. <laughs> you ain't a little, I don't know, winded <laughs> walking around and all that drip. I mean, I mean, I respect the drip, but like, dang, you ain't feeling a little heated. <laughs> All them clothes and that was heavy it looked heavy your head looked heavy mm -hmm. yeah she was doing the most and i can't i love a good sparkle but goodness gracious uh-uh <laughs> no um so those are all the shows that i watched in english um <laughs> in english that is uh i watched two korean shows i watched crash landing on you and i watched chocolate chocolate is done um crash landing on you i don't think it's quite done i haven't watched it in a bit i'm currently watching it but i've also been distracted by work and other things but um chocolate was so good chocolate was really cute but it was very much i'm gonna kill all the characters and that was like the point of the show because they were in a hospice and if you don't know what a hospice is it's a place for terminally ill that are eventually eventually going to die like these are people that are eventually going to pass so and there's like no helping them like at all um so all the characters we already knew we're going to have to go um 
so like that was a lot of crying so if you're not a big crier i'm sorry also the main two the two main characters of this entire show both experience um death-like situations twice um so they could have died at two points one point they were they were together and they could have died together and then while they were apart they were in very interesting accidents that ended them up in the hospital and almost killed them um the show is a lot it's painful but it's pretty good um i liked it i watched it because 17 17 sung the um ost for it and it's so cute this ost was so cute um crashing on you on the other hand i'm a little eh on it right now it's a it's a lot it's like it's a woman who has was a was parachuting through the sky and she accidentally landed in north korea and she's being hidden by a north korean general that has also been through the most so and they're attempting to get her out of out of north korea and back to south korea <laughs> after her parachuting accident but at the same time there are people that are trying to keep her in North Korea because she's also an heiress to a very large company and her siblings despise her so it's the, the run against maybe I need to get you in North Korea or I need to keep you in North Korea so it's a whole lot a whole lot of so I had to take a pause on watching it because it was just too much what I've been spending my time watching is The Untamed now I started The Untamed in like December it's got 50 episodes and I started in December I ended it this January <clears throat> earlier this January since then I think I ended it like the January 2nd since then I've watched it like five more times why because it's interesting and also the fandom is a one the fandom's a one um but also it's something that if you decide to watch the untamed it's about these two it's about people in a deeper period of time um and they are like i'm gonna dumb it down for you exorcist i'm gonna call them exorcists because they're supposed to be fighting demons and such and it's kind of like if you think of supernatural except these two aren't siblings <laughs> these two are not siblings it's a whole lot a whole lot of, at one point one of the characters dies like that's how the show starts is a character dying and they're going to tell you how he died and then brought was brought back and how him being back impacted everything else it's a whole lot a whole lot of, it has a chinese and japanese audio drama telling of the story it's a novel it's a manga well a webtoon really and it's also an anime or a donghua and it's a whole lot a whole lot of, and i actually really like it i've i'm reading it i catch the audio dramas ever so often when they're translated and then i watch the show and then i've watched parts of the anime and then i've read the webtoon pretty good show pretty good very gay I'm gonna say it now very much gay so if you got a problem with the lgbtq community number one leave my channel number two don't watch it <laughs> you know but it's pretty good what else have i been Ooh. working out um we just bought the 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 switch ring thing the switch ring the the ring for the switch so you can exercise it ish it's hilarious to watch people do it because it's like uh, <sighs> <laughs> so we bought that that's been fun as fuck um what else i don't really think i have much Ooh, yeah i don't think i have much if you guys have anything that you really loved for like january or if you really have anything that you've been like Ooh, D, princess you should watch this princess you should see this princess check this ish Leave it in the comments below because honestly I would love to get to know you guys better. I have been enjoying January partially because January has been a little effed up on all ends of the spectrum. I think we can all apologize to ourselves for that one because January just is zoom. <clears throat> Do one else. I completely forgot I had tea here and it was supposed to be for the fact that I'm sick. No, I don't have the coronavirus. I am in my house way too much. And I live deep in the South. I don't know where anyone's going to come down here with the coronavirus who might have come in contact with the coronavirus. I don't know how they're going to get down here. I live deep in the country. Um, 
you're not getting here <laughs> i don't think it's gonna get down here we we deep deep down here you probably will absolutely pass where we are because that's how deep in the country we are so i hope you enjoy the rest of your january with the last two days left i hope your february gets better because honestly february done had everybody effed up um for your february love somebody give somebody a hug give somebody a kiss or whatever you know what don't push your mouth on nobody no don't touch nobody Mm, never mind don't do that don't do that don't touch nobody mm. you know keep all your loves to yourself love someone from afar yeah perfect um so for the rest of the month love someone from afar give them like an air hug a blowing kiss mm. Mm. yeah just give a blowing kiss I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoy me and all of my antics I hope you enjoy the rest of your uh January I hope your month gets better, like I said. Um, if you, like me, think I'm pretty cool, thank you, number one, that's first. Um, follow me on all my social media. Aesthetically Princess on Instagram, Twitter. Blue Princess, Princess Blue, Princess dot underscore dot underscore dot blue on Instagram for all of my art stuff. I will see you guys next time. Bye! I need both hands to do my outro.